This is a Muslim. This is a Christian. They didn't like each other very much, mainly because the Christians didn't like the Muslims because they didn't believe in Christianity. The Muslims didn't like the Christians because, well, the Christians were taking over the Muslims' land. The main reason that this happened is because um, religion. And because of that, this is now the story of the Crusades. Stephen Stephensons from the University of Bellevue Community College. I've been studying Islam and its people for about 10-15 minutes. I decided, you know what? How hard can it be? So I went on Wikipedia and I, I found out a good couple things. I found out that in the 7th century, Islam was very successful due to the dedication and prowess of its warriors, as well as the appeal of its simple doctrines and another in very difficult word that I didn't learn before dropping out of language arts social studies in 10th grade. Also, the Muslims, they, they liked invading people, so they, they did that and they, they expanded their own culture, took a little of other people's culture, you know, just swirled it around, you know, you know how it is, you know. So, needless to say, Islam's culture was uh, huge on especially Europe and all of the uh, western parts of uh, the big continent where everyone lived at the time because North America was a myth perpetuated by the government that didn't exist because the earth was flat. Okay. Hello, my name is Mahatma Gandhi. I am a professor at the Institute of Modern Economics and there I have learned through Islam trade routes I connected the trades of Africa, Asia, and Europe while its presence allowed for urbanization of certain cities such as Andalus and the southern Spain. Most areas under the Muslim dominance benefited from local and, local and international commerce and the economic systems of Western Europe began to change and improve with the lasting is Islamic presence, like Italy. Um, the partnership between Muslims and Christians were, was rewarding for both parties involved and allowed for a better and stronger economic opportunities between the two. Well, that's not all. The Crusades, they had a terrible effect on some of the Muslim and Jewish inhabitants of the Middle East. Not only that, but the adherents of the two religions had joined together to defend the cities of Antioch in about 1097 CE and Jerusalem from European Crusaders. The Crusaders dedicated themselves to this holy war against the infidels who they believed were religiously inferior. Dur during the Middle Ages, the Islamic world was a global center of trade, culture, and learning. But the Christians didn't like that because they thought that what they had believed was not correct and was giving the wrong messages to their people. Therefore, they had a couple holy wars under the command of Pope Urban II. He initiated the first crusade and it was to distract Christian nobles and rulers of Europe from fighting one another and to create a common enemy that they could all just go attack. Islamic arts were highly valued imports to Europe throughout the Middle Ages, largely because of accidents of survival. Most surviving examples are those that were in the possession of the church. In the early period, textiles were especially important as they were used for church vestments, shrouds, hangings, and clothing for the elite. Islamic pottery of everyday quality was still preferred to European wares because decoration was most ornamental or small hunting scenes and the like. Inscriptions were not understood, though, and Islamic objects did not offend Christian sensibilities. 
Medieval art in Sicily is always interesting and stylish because of the mixture of Norman, Arab, Byz and Byzantine influences in areas such as mosaics, metal inlays, sculptures, and bronze working.